Well, uh, congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles. They're 8-0 and this season. Fly Eagles fly to start week nine of the, of the NFL. So, um, well, um, I'll talk about postseason wins in a second here. And, uh, yeah, so the, the Eagles won at least. And, and in the NBA, we only had uh, two games tonight. The uh, Magic come from behind and beat the Warriors 130-129. to 129. Steph Curry had 39 points. Klay Thompson had 27 points. Jordan Poole had 11. And uh, uh, Banchero had 22 points. Um, and the Nuggets beat the Thunder 122-110. Uh, Jokic had a triple-double with 15 points, 14 assists, 13 rebounds. KCP had 11 points. Jamal Murray had 24 points. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. had 11. And, uh, and yeah, let's get to Game 5 of the World Series. Um, unfortunately, the Houston Astros beat the Philadelphia Phillies. Three to two and take a three games to two lead in the World Series. And um, well, Jeremy Pena had had a home run, three hits, two RBIs. Um, Jose Altuve had two hits and scored two runs. So the top of the order has done the damage for the Astros. And Justin Verlander, finally, at long last, gets his first career World Series win. And now he moves ahead of John Smoltz in terms of career wins in the postseason with 16, only trailing Andy Pettit by three now. And, um, yep, yeah, Justin Verlander, four hits, one earned run, six strikeouts. Ryan Presley with a five-out save. And for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber hit a leadoff home run to start the game, but it, the lead didn't last, but... Gene Segura had two hits and an RBI single. Nick Castellano scored a run, drew a walk. Bryce Harper had two walks and a double. But um, teams that take a three games to two lead uh, win the World Series 68% of the time. But Dusty Baker was in this position before 20 years ago when he took the Giants up three games to two. But... Then they lost two in a row to the Angels, but those last two losses were on the road. But Dusty Baker is going home now and trying to win that elusive championship as a manager. And, well, you have to tip your hat to Houston. Give credit when it's due. And um, the Phillies had a great magical season, though. It was a season to remember for the Phils. But they have already played their final game of the year at Citizens Bank Park in the wee hours of Friday, November the 4th. And, um, yeah, Framber Valdez against Zach Wheeler in game six. And we'll see if the Astros can take care of business and win the World Series or see if the Phillies can force a game seven. You know, it ain't over till it's over. And I'm still keeping faith on the Phillies, though, and keep fighting, you know. I, I hope you can force the seventh game and keep your season alive. And I sure hope that the Phillies can try to win at least one more game to force a seventh game. But, you know, Houston is favored. And we didn't expect Philly to be in this position. I mean, once the, during the season, like mid-season, I mean, the Phillies were like, Um, they lost 21 out of 50 games to start the season, and then they went on the tear, clinched the final playoff spot, beat St. Louis in the wild card series, beat the defending champion Braves in the division series, then beat up the upstart San Diego Padres in the league championship series, and now they're facing elimination in the World Series, but Houston, on the other hand, um, had the best record in the American League, 
They just dominated the American League playoffs by sweeping the Mariners in the division series and then sweeping the New York Yankees in the league championship series. And now they're on the doorstep of a championship. And, uh, but yeah, it was a tough two, last two losses at home after, after dominating the long ball and scoring a lot of runs, being 6-0 and at home. And unfortunately, they only scored two runs in the two losses. We had home run derby. After splitting the first two games in Houston, um, the Phillies played home run derby in game three. Then were no hit last night in game four. And then a nail biter tonight in game five. And we'll see what happens in game six on Saturday night. Meanwhile, the LA Kings, by the way, also lost today as well. Yeah, the, the LA Kings lost to the Blackhawks two to one. Well, that's all we got for you tonight. Meanwhile, have a great night. I'll see you next time. Peace out.